Pick up the pace, you lazy desert rats. We have a quarter to meet. First men to the safe houses. Get word to still go. We'll evacuate the city tomorrow. Send your papers, you scum. There's a tunnel out of the city at the foot of the steps. Blessings of more deeper with you and your family. Your plan worked, Mordi. Now they know we can strike them at will. We could take the city in an hour. It's not time. But they are vulnerable, Mordi. Not yet. Advance unit found something in the chaos more deep. Something you should see. There was a secret crematorium, one of the Harkana barracks. And this was all of your father that was left. It's an omen, a sign that our final battle with the Harkonnen is at hand. Your visions frighten me, Mordi. There are things still hidden from me. Places I can't go, things I can't see. Do you ever worry that just trying to see the future changes it? We're speeding toward the abyss, Cheney. I have to see a way around it. Perhaps it's time for me to leave, Mwadi. I've been away from our son too long. We'll make arrangements once we reach Cave of Ridges. We'll be there after the next raids. 
Will we ever have peace, Wadi? We'll have victory. I'm sorry, my lord. He said you must come at once. Do you really take me for that much of a fool, boy? I don't understand, Uncle. What kind of poison did you choose, boy? Something slow and painful, I assume? So you could watch, eh? Tell me, Fade. Why didn't you simply assassinate me yourself? You had plenty of opportunity to. You taught me that my own hands must always remain clean. Oh, quick, boy, very quick. You're good material, Fade, and I hate to waste good material. <laughs> now, give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right here. My brother. Uh, yes, that's right. Your dim brother. If I kill you, then he would be my only heir. And he can't even put down a dirty mob of religious lunatics. <laughs> yes, you're clever, Faye. But not that clever. And don't get any ideas, Fade. My men have you in their sights even as we speak. Don't worry. If I'd wanted you dead, you'd never have made it down the hall. You're going to let me live? Well, I can't very well leave the wealth of Arrakis to someone who's dead. What wealth? Every communique brings news of another Fremen raid. By the time my idiot of a brother is through, the Emperor himself will have to intervene. You're not as dim as I thought. You intend to draw the Emperor himself into this? You see? This is why you need me, Fade. To help you think, to help you plot. Why do you think I tolerate the incompetence of your brother? Because it amuses me? Think, Fade, think. There must be method to this madness, even though you've been too dull to divine it. The spice. Of course, the spice. The one thing that could possibly draw the Emperor away from his imperial pleasures out into the wastelands of the Empire, where he is vulnerable, where he can be destroyed. And Duke Leto was just the beginning, the prelude to a move on the Imperial throne itself. The timing is everything, beautiful boy. Patience is our ally. We must not make the Emperor suspicious with foolishness like this. So, what will it be? I give you my pledge. Good. Now let the Emperor Mockhouse hearken. Call a swine. Because in the end, his throne will be mine. Another healthy fighter for the cause. Thalia, <laughs> you were told to wait. Nisa's son. How can you know that, child? The slaughter on Bela Tagus is history. You weren't even born. But, Mother, I saw it, and it's true. Yes, it's true.
hate them. Oh, yes. They stare at me. They whisper when I pass. It hurts my feelings. They're confused, Alia. You frighten them. Because I'm a freak. You're not a freak. Who has said that? No one. Then don't you ever say it again. My children are not freaks. But I can't help it. I just know things. Things I shouldn't know. But I just do. It was a cruel thing I did to you, Alia. I took the water of life when you were still in my womb. No one should ever be wakened to consciousness as you were. But we'll make them understand, Alia. We'll make them see that you're not just a little girl, that you've never really been one. My brother. What is this? He came to challenge you in open combat. You killed him. I took care of it. But he came to challenge me. It wasn't worthy, Wadi. Othium, get Stilgar. Tell him to summon a maker. What he... There is only one way to stop these challenges. You know what this will mean? Between you and Still, the man will want you to call him out. Only if I survive the maker. Just remember what I've taught you. Do it simply and directly, nothing fancy. I'll remember. Stand close enough that you can mount when he passes, but not so close. Crush you. Remember, well, you will hear him before you see him. When you take your stand, you must become completely still. You must become a dune in your very essence. Still. I'll remember. See that you do. Frame and write the worm by the time they are 12. I don't want an old man like you shaming my teaching. He won't fail. I must not fear. 
Fear is the mind killer. I will face my fear. Well, let it pass through me. Only I will remain. He is too close. He is not leaving enough room. I can second him. It's allowed even in the test. No. He must do this alone. I've ever seen one that big. Look, there. Spice. We've never gone so far south. The Fremen would never allow this to be No choice. The Spacing Guild is buying up all the spice there is. Nothing left for us. It smells like a rich patch. I'll call in the Harkin's Get some men up on those rocks first. The Harkonnen controls won't be this far out. It's not the Harkonnen I'm worried about. I'll be down. A false patch. Get the men back aboard! Put the knife away, Gurney Alec! Who is it that knows the name of Gurney Alec? Paul? Is it truly Paul? Young pup! Young pup! <laughs> Kearney, man. So you're the reason the Fremen have gotten so clever. I'd never have expected you to fall for such a simple trick, ah, Colonel. Desperate times, my lord. Arkham patrols have forced the south deeper and deeper. Where you might have seen things you shouldn't. Skurney Halleck still. My father's weapons master. One of my teachers. There aren't many of us. Who haven't heard the name, Gurney Halleck? This is Stilgar Gurney, the naive of our siege. More deep, feel the wind. More deep? You're the one they call More Deep? It's my Fremen name. Come, we'll talk of all these things while we wait out the storm. Storm? We didn't see any signs. It comes soon. Trust me. What happens to my men? We'll decide what to do with them after the storm. We'll have to hurry if we're going to save the Thopter. This is one of the things you should not have seen. You had many such hiding places? Many times, many. We call this one Cave of Ridges. Would you like me to bring coffee? Yes. 
and more food. Your woman? The mother of my firstborn. Ah, so much has happened. The boy I knew has now become a man. Thanks to our enemies. Ah, cowards. They're hiding their cities and garrisons, hoping you will wear yourself out with useless raids. In other words, they're immobilized. Why you go where and when you choose. A tactic I learned from you, Kearney man. What about your men? Smugglers all. Good men. Some newcomers. <clears throat> Off-worlders. It's hard to find recruits these days. Any of my father's men? Those that weren't butchered by the Harkonnen. Bribed whoever they could to live Arrakis. Everyone thought. We all believed you were dead, my lord. But you stayed. Awaiting an opportunity for vengeance. I knew we'd be reunited, Gurney. I saw it. You're the only one left to me, my lord. Howard, Idaho, your father. All dead, all betrayed. I would have gladly have sacrificed myself if I could have taken the traitor with me. My father once spoke about desert power, Gurney. I remember well. Well, you've just met it. The surface of this planet is ours. No storm, no worm, not even the Empress Sardaukar can stop us now. Enlist with me, Gurney. Feed on revenge with us. Enlist? I never left your service. That stupid swine seems almost begging for me to intervene. The Baron is a pig, Father, but he is not stupid. Ah. Raban has lost almost 50,000 troops in the past two years. Arrakis is a fierce planet. Attrition cannot explain such losses. He's losing five to one. Read between the lines. You're saying the Baron is allowing this rebellion to continue? I'm saying the Baron can count as well as we. For the sake of argument, what if there were only 20,000 people in a Fremen siege? And what if there were only 250 such communities on the whole of Arrakis? Our spies are suggesting there may be twice that many. Yes. 10 million. Toughened by conditions worse than your own prison planet, Father? Yes, but brutalized by that mindless Zagraban. They would never ally with him. But perhaps this brutality is simply part of something more cunning. A clever prelude to ripen them up for someone else. Someone to come and rescue them from Raban. Someone like the other nephew. The cute one, Fade. If such a plan succeeded, the Baron would have a force to rival even your dreaded Sardaukar. Summon Harkonnen to k -Tan. We shall see what devices this perverse mind is breeding. Your Highness has a perceptive mind. Should I take that as a compliment or a threat, Fenring? I meant it only as a sign of my respect. I share your fear of the Baron's schemes. My father can handle the Baron, Fenring. It is this more deep I'm curious about.
Corba from behind, Morty. One of my newcomers. Sardaukar. Not a chance. The only possible explanation if he overcame Corba. Submit, Captain. Submit, Captain. Sardaukar. Gurney! Let me kill him, my lord! No! Gurney Halleck is right, Mordi. We must take his water. Othium, see that he's not harmed. We'll have use for him soon. Janie, now you can return to the Southern Siege. I want you to bring my mother here. Your mother? My lord, we were told she was taken by the Harkonnen. That she is dead. She's very much alive, old friend. And you will see her soon. Come. We have another raid to plan. Muad'Dib never sleeps. They say Muad'Dib never eats. They believe he can see into the future. They believe he cannot be killed. No one has ever seen him. No Highness. Though many claim they have, sometimes in several places at the same time. What does he look like? I want to know what he looks like. No one will say for sure. Perhaps he doesn't even exist. Perhaps he's just a legend. A ghost. There are no such things as ghosts. We were able to jam their signals. No communications escaped, but... I think you should see this. The guild agent. Quite a distance from the comforts of Cartain. May I remind you that I am protected by the Imperial Treaties for Commerce. By the Chome Declaration, paragraph 12, subparagraph D, and by articles 3, 8, and 14 of the Great Convention. Imperial which... law is void where Moadib stands. The forms must be obeyed. Be quiet. Shall we take their waters now, Moadib? We have surrendered without resistance. We have put our lives at your mercy. Mercy is a word I no longer understand. My lord. Tell me. Are there many guild agents on Arrakis these days? We are neutral in the matters between you and the Harkonnen. Are there? Arrakis is calling with them. Buy not a spice as if there's precious little left. You're afraid, aren't you? The spice must flow. Othium, disarm their thopters. Fuel them only as much as needed to reach Arakeen. You are letting them go? Take a message to your masters. Tell them your fight is hopeless. Tell them the forces of Muad'Dib cannot be defeated. Tell them the days are numbered. Question your intentions, Mordi. The men still can't possibly imagine what my intentions are.
Gurney. Your son shares a bond with this man. It runs very deep. Very deep. The kind only men can have. And my little man. You are so thin. Is he being fed enough? His appetite is as healthy as any I've seen. He should be with the other children. I cherish the time I spend with my grandson. He can't learn the ways of the siege if he's kept apart. There are things he must learn that extend beyond the ways of the siege. There will be time enough to learn those things. Does Paul share that sentiment? Muadib relies on my judgment where our son is concerned. You have been a good companion to my son, Cheney. But he is not like other men. I'm sure I know that better than most. He is noble-born. The rightful heir to the house Atreides. An alliance with one of the other great houses must remain a possibility. You don't have to worry, Reverend Mother. I will only do what's best for him. Just as you did for your duke. Pleasure to see you again, Baron Hartman. I'll see you again, Baron. So the Empress seems to be entertaining some of the other royal houses as well. There is much to discuss. Really? Majesty, these people are mad. The women throw their babies at us. They hurl themselves onto our weapons to open a wedge for their men to attack. Indeed. I can wipe the planet clean of the entire race, Your Majesty, but then who would mind the spice? It's a terrible dilemma. Do you have any idea where this more deep character came from? What he wants, what his prize is? He's a Fremen fanatic, a religious adventurer. They crop up regularly on the fringes of civilization. Your Majesty knows this. Most seem simply bent on suicide. Have you ever stared into the eyes of a religious fanatic, Baron? Suicide and martyrdom are often the same thing. It's a dangerous game he's playing. This rebellion must be crushed. Now. We agree. Something must be done. Although we may not suggest what that is, of course. We cannot move on House Harkonnen unilaterally, Majesty. There are complications in our relationship. It's time to draw this more deep into the open. Have the royal houses prepare their armies. We're moving the royal palace to Arrakis, with the guild's approval, of course. expect you to call Stilgar out. No man recognizes leadership without the challenge of combat. Now that I've ridden the worm, they think there's nothing else in our way. Is there? A man in a rush never sees the edge of the cliff until it's too late. But they don't see any cliffs. You don't allow them to. Of a simple religion. Nothing about religion is simple. Isn't it a little late to be worrying about that? We did. I did. 
what I had to do to ensure our survival. You used them? Yes. So have you. No. I'm fulfilling the role destiny has chosen for me. You sound like you're starting to believe the legends about you. Like the Kwisatz Haderach? What do you know about that? Mother Amalo called me that. Siege Tabar before she died. I was supposed to have a daughter. One that could be wed to the Harkonnen heir. A way to end the feud and possibly produce the Kwisatz Haderach. The one who can be many places at once. The ultimate achievement of centuries of Bene Gesserit breeding. The man who could go where we could not. The one with perfect memory. Who could provide perfect predictability. And perfect power for the Bene Gesserit, of course. I did what I did because I loved your father. I only wanted to give him a son. I didn't want to create a god. And you don't believe it's true. I'm your mother, Paul. I know who you are. Do you? <clears throat> Forgive me, Reverend Mother. Can I bring you anything, some food, perhaps? Yes, thank you. And then I'd like to see Gurney. He must find a way not to lose Stilgar. Come, Othium. Thought you had escaped, eh, hey, witch? Gurney, what are you doing? I'm your confessor. Take your hands off me. Here to unburden your black conscience of guilt before I send you into eternity. Gurney! I must step my lord and I finish it right now. You better explain yourself, Gurney. I'd explain, all right. Again. The house of Trades fell. I swore I know. I would kill the one who betrayed your father. You couldn't be more wrong, Gurney. Do not speak! Gurney? Stand where you are, my lord. Am I capable of lying to you? You never had, my lord. The traitor was Yui, Gurney. No. We have the confession in his own hand. And as soon as you release my mother, you can read it for yourself. Look me in the eye. Tell me it wasn't you. I will know if you are lying. I will know. I would have given my life to save Leto. The day he died, my heart turned to stone. It was Yui. They had his wife. Oh my God. What have I done? Oh my God. <laughs> Gurney, it's over now. I didn't see it coming. You need to rest more deep. I didn't know he would threaten her. I never saw it. He could have killed her. This can't go on. You are asking too much of yourself. I want you to take Leto and return to the Southern Siege. I want you safe. I'm not safest when we are together. But I'm not.
He's alive. I assure you, he's alive. But the thread of life is so thin, most think he's not. How long has he been this way? Almost to the day you left. Othium found him. The experience has shaken him. I spent a week trying to revive him. It has been no use. There have been meetings, arguments. Some of the elders think it's time to... to take his water. Who else knows? Stilgar, the Naibs, and the Fedaikin, of course. What do the Fedaikin think? They think he's in a sacred trance, gathering his holy powers for the final battle. I've encouraged this view. You have to help, Cheney. You're my last hope. Please, tell me what to do. Dyking are right, Reverend Mother. More deep is in a trance. A dangerous trance. He has taken the water of life. The pool water of a drowned maker. I have not changed it yet. could kill him. It's our only hope. Just a moment ago. You drank the water of life. Yes. We thought you were dead. You have no idea. I have seen things there are not words to describe. You've seen the future. The now, Mother. The future and the past. All at once. All the same. Unexpected. I am the fulcrum, the giver, and the taker. I am the one who can be many places at once. I am the master of fate. I am the tool of fate.
Reverend Mother, are you sick? I'm fine. Now you understand. I've decided we're alike, you and me. Love you. When this dusty little nuisance is over, I'll convince you. I'd be confused if you didn't try. I know. I know. That's why we're alike. We don't like to be confused. We like to be certain. Sometime. Remind me to tell you about the ancient legend of the Phoenix. Mm. That's it, beautiful boy. You may find a way for us yet. She'd make a fine trophy on Harkin and Linen, wouldn't she? Shah Emperor is here in the space above us with his favorite truthsayer and legions of his Sardaukar. Every great house has its raiders here. The Baron Harkonnen is with them. But would he... How can you know this? I've seen them. My lord, we only heard this morning from our smuggler allies. You were unconscious. Not unconscious. Muad'Dib has seen through the water of life. <laughs> Reverend Mother, is this true? He has seen. Mahdi! You are the voice from the outer world. You are the prophet sent to us by Shai Halud. You must take your place, Muad'Dib. We've waited long enough. You must do it now! Do you live for the good of the tribe, Stilgar? There is no other way. And for the good of the tribe? Would you stand there and let me drive this blade into your heart? Call him out, Mardi! Call, Call him out! It's the way, Stilgar. It's the way. Call him out! Call him out! It is the way. Ways change! Hard tasks need hard ways. You must become our naive so you can lead us against the Harkonnen. And would you smash your knife before starting that war? Would you cut off your right arm and leave it bloody on the floor? Do you think the Mahdi is that stupid? There isn't a man among you who could stand against me in single combat, Stilgar included. Must I prove it by calling out the naive of every siege on the planet? Must I cripple myself by killing our strongest and wisest leaders just for the sake of some mindless ritual? You say I am the Mahdi. I say I am your Duke. And it's time now to wipe Arrakis clean of the awful Harkonnen stench. Time to drive their name into the depths of hell so that we may reclaim the planet and create a paradise together! As Liet taught us. As Liet taught us. Oh. 
Long live the Duke. Long live Duke Bol Madib. Ya Chia Muada. Mojib. Long live the fighters of Mojib. Ya Ya Chuada. Mojib. Long live the fighters of Mojib. 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 The men have gathered the supplies. We're almost ready to depart. What are they waiting for? For permission. They know the guild will strand any force that lands here without its consent. The guild is protecting us? They're afraid still. Afraid of what's to come. They're searching for a way out. They're searching for me. What are we going to do? Let them find me. Tamothium. I want you to choose several of your best men, ones who you trust above all others. Separate them from the rest before we withdraw from here. As you wish. Send them to the reservoir in the Habanya Erg. Have them collect the water of life we've hidden there. Madiba, I, I, I don't understand. Those, those are changed waters. Hidden there in case something should happen to the Reverend Mother. Have the men find a priest by mass, as large as possible. Have them plant the waters above the mass, and wait for my orders. Do you realize what you're asking me to do? What you've asked shall be done, Wadib. The Baron insists the southern areas are uninhabitable. The Baron is mistaken. Fremen? There have been reports. Only a few were investigated, according to Harkonnen documents. Cost to profit too high, apparently. Many thopters were lost. Even smugglers won't venture there. Send a light attack force immediately. I want ground reconnaissance. Perhaps this more deep thinks he can continue to attack us, then retreat to the wilderness where we dare not follow. Well, I'm about to strangle his options.
Let all Fremen who pass here pause and pay homage to the shrine of Duke Leto Atreides and all those who've died in the service of justice. need is a storm. The great grandmother of a storm. Seems you'll have one soon enough. From here, the future will open. The clouds will part to reveal its glory. And it gives me no peace. I've seen what you've seen, Paul. I know what's coming. What you're about to let loose, not just here on Arrakis, but across the entire universe. I'm powerless to stop it. Are you? purpose awaits us, Mother. This vast organism we call humanity is about to reinvent itself from the ashes of its own complacency. The sleeper has awakened. Anything that tries to stop it will be crushed. Even the innocent. There are no innocents anymore. Your father would never have spoken this way. I am not my father. You are his son. More than his son. Much more. Thanks to you. Take a good look at me, Mother. See something I learned after I took the water of life. Look into my eyes. Look back through them into my blood, Harkonnen blood, flowing in mine. It flows from you. <laughs> I won't believe it. Who is your father? Tell me. You know I can't. Who? I don't know. I don't know. I have never known. Because they hid it from you. Because they took me when I was an infant, raised me in the Bene Gesserit ways. Like all the others before and since. None know their mothers. Or their fathers. The Baron Harkonnen, mother, you're his daughter. The product of a clever seduction. The handiwork of your precious Bene Gesserit breeding programs. I'm his grandson. They wanted to control things. They couldn't control you. You changed everything. You had a son, and now I'm here. The one they were seeking. But I've arrived before my time, and they're just beginning to realize it. Coming.
not it. What is it? Our son is dead. Will you look at that thing? I count nine levels. The fools brought the old palace with them. My dear Emperor, I'm about to shatter your sanity. Then I'm going to destroy you. Not a thotter in the sky. Everything's being pulled in and tied down. They know a storm is coming. Time to let them know I'm here. The Sardaukar captain, alive and unharmed as you ordered. I'm about to set you free. And you must take this with you. These are terms for surrender. They killed my son. I can't do this. You have no choice. Don't be afraid. Clean him up. Give him one of the Sardaukar uniforms we've taken. Full rank insignia. Let him face his master with dignity. You're mad! Do you know that? After you return with the Emperor's answer, then we can discuss who is mad. I may suggest the time has come to loose the forces of the Empire against the scum. Ah, shut your mouth. It's you I have to thank for this mess. You and your hapless family, Baron. I really don't think, Your Majesty, that this is the time to revisit old strategies. I said quiet. So, he wants an answer, does he? Some kind of midget? My dear Baron. Meet the sister of the one they call Muad'Dib. Their shields are going up. They've given us their answer. The thumbers have been activated. It's time, Gurney. Your Majesty, I had no idea. He's lying, of course. Quiet, child. Make him afraid some more. It's time to bring this sorry episode to a close. Time for your brother to surrender as the prize for your life. No! I don't take orders from you, old man. It's not wise to be so impudent, child. You do not want to feel the full force of my power. I am beyond your power. Ask her. Kill her! Kill her now. She's the abomination. 
The one the ancients warned us about. What is this? Look at her father. Can you not see it? She is the daughter of Duke Leighton. She is our Trades. Her brother is the Duke's son, Paul. He is the Muad'Dib. Impossible. Have faith. The end game has already been written. Do it, Gurney. Do it now! Get her! She's in my mind. Your Majesty. The perimeter shield won't hold against that. and a reform. Give her body to the storm! Let the storm have what it can take. I have it, your majesty! <laughs> Goodbye, grandfather. You have finally met the Atreides Gondraba. <laughs>
Some of the dying asked to see the Reverend Mother. She is with them. my parents' room. What little peace they had after we came to Arrakis was here. Tell me again about the waters of your homeland, Mordi. Where water falls from the sky and plants grow so thick you can't walk in between them. As Arrakis will be one day. Paid for with the blood of our people. Our fathers. Our son. <laughs> Is it over? Almost. Perhaps my respected kinsman thinks he has things his own way now. There is a masked armada of the great houses in the space over Abrakis' young Atreides. I have but to give the word. Your word means nothing anymore. I am the Emperor! Not for long. Dispatch orders to your navigators. They are to depart our space and return the fleet to its homes immediately. The guild does not take your orders. Tell them to look into the future. They will see me staring back at them, ready to give the order. The order to destroy all spice production on this planet. My men are waiting in the desert. There is a particularly large and volatile pre-spice mass there. I need but raise my finger, and the nest will be flooded with the changed water of life. Jessica! What have you done to us? Spreading death among the makers, killing a cycle of life creating a chain reaction which will grow and grow until there are no makers left. Until there is no spice left. Jessica, silence him! Silence him yourself. Can he do this? They know I can do this. That's what they've feared the most. They've been monitoring the signals my men have been sending. They know precisely where we are and what we can do. Without the spice, the navigators will become blind. 
The Bene Gesserit will lose all powers, and all commerce among the great houses will cease. Civilization will end. If I am not obeyed, the spice will not flow. But it will be suicide. I think we both know the way out of this difficulty, don't we? Paul, do not interfere, Mother. This is for the good of us all. Never. An adventurer like him. A traitor to the Empire. Father, here is a man fit to be your son. Do you really think I'd agree to such a thing? What choice do we have? Ten! I invoke ten. Which one is that? The Baron's of an Evie, my lord. Fade, a cold-blooded killer. <sighs> so it comes down to this. It is my right, as the Baron now of House Harkonnen, I demand satisfaction. So you're what's left of the house that killed my father. It's down to us. Here we settle this vendetta once and for all. He's a Harkonnen animal, more deep. He's right, my lord. Let me kill him. It will be my gift to you. <laughs> this is the great Muad'Dib, such a coward that he must send others to do his dirty work? Othium. Does this one fight in the Emperor's name? If Fade wishes it, he will meet you with my blade in his hand. I wish it! May thy knife chip and shatter. like the Emperor's truth-sayer to prepare your spirit for its journey? Or have you gone too native? Maybe you'd like that little pet up there, the pretty one, to say a few pagan rites, eh? Before I claim her. I am not afraid. say, Atreides? Perhaps you'll answer this.
Till you see it, Trades. <clears throat> your death, fool. The poison will stop your muscles, and my knife will finish you. It's over. Cousin. <laughs> 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 Italy. You cannot stop this thing. The spies must flow. Standing there, so haughty, so confident. Let us hope she finds solace in her writing and her books. She'll have little else. She may have my son's name, but it is we, the ones who carry the name of concubine, that history will call wives.